It's Anthony Chance move on day 65, I think, <laughs> of the 90 day challenge. And here I am once again at the bus stop. I just came from a dinner and a great conversation with two of my artist friends, which is really interesting. And um, I guess I just wanted to share tonight uh, where I'm at with my planning for 2014. I've spent uh, some time last night um, actually filling out my calendar for 2014 and really putting into place the creation of what I want next year to look to look like. And I think this is a, actually a very powerful process because there's a quote that comes from uh, my mentor and uh, something that he said is, you know, um, either it, the question isn't oh, there goes a bus. The question is isn't whether a bus will go past or not because it just did. The question, okay, so the the question is not uh, whether your calendar will fill up. The question is who will be the one filling it up. I'll say that again. So the question is not whether or not your calendar will fill up. The question is who's going to be the one who's doing the filling up. Okay, so that's really the idea behind that is you know our schedules get so busy and you have a choice you have a choice as to how that schedule is going to look you know do you uh, are you going to just allow things to appear and, and pop up uh, in the in your calendar next year as you go or would you prefer to actually plan it all out and, and plot out you know your important dates your holidays your time off your creative time your uh, recovery time your for me for my business my actual when I'm doing my events when I'm doing my webinars uh, when I'm doing my retreats okay I've basically put that all out in my calendar for next year and so that allows me to really do all the thinking now whilst I have the space the time and the energy and then when 2014 comes basically you know, literally next in the next few days uh, then it's all about execution and that's really become will be my focus for next year less my theme for next year is less talk more action right and so that's really you know be able, being able to sit down and plot my my plan my 2014 uh, in line with the, the the amount of money I want to be making the amount of clients I want to be working with uh, and living the lifestyle I want to be living then really the next step is really just to refer to the plan uh, and and work that plan and just instead of um, planning to planning for it to work it's more about that that's been done so now it's just actually going there and doing it all right and it takes away a lot of the guesswork and when things come up as they inevitably do then I can just look at it and go well is this part of my plan if not okay I can just put it to the side and I'll take care of it the following year or I'll let that opportunity go uh, because I know I'm on a mission and I'm going to be doing the best that I can do to achieve my outcomes. So there you go, a bit of a planning tip for you. Uh, and how are you designing your 2014? And are you on the way to creating the best year of your life? Okay, thanks for tuning in and I will see you next time.